Hi, I'm David Boardman, CEO of Stockpile Reports. It was 2012 in a situation just like this where I was looking at image processing technology, basically takes photographs and turns it into accurate 3D data and looking to see what business problems could it solve. Now, originally we started and I came to a core like this, I'd never worn steel-toed boots, hard hat, and I was introduced to the coring business and they explained, well, you blow things up, you put it through a plant, you stack it up, you put it in trucks, and it leaves. So, well, that sounds interesting. And that blowing stuff up sounds pretty cool and sounds pretty dangerous. So I got really focused on that, thinking that if we could accurately model the terrain before the blast and after the blast, we could look at that blast efficiency. And I was working really hard on that problem for about six months when suddenly I got a phone call from the president of the aggregates company, and he said, I heard you're modeling things with pictures and you're looking at blasting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he said, well, do you think you could measure a stockpile with a cell phone? I said, well, of course we could, but that sounds pretty boring. Why in the world would you want to measure a stockpile with a cell phone? <laughs> so he invited me to his office and I ended up going and, and he gave me a PhD level course on the business of aggregates and inventory write-offs. Right. And what I learned was that there's no good way to measure a stockpile. Especially back in 2012, people were using GPS sticks and they were walking on these piles, right? Putting themselves at great risk and harm. And they were placing these poles wherever they could that was safe and coming up with a cubic, <laughs> cubic yard measurement of volume, converting that to tons, and then that's what they were putting on their books. Okay. All types of problems with that from safety to the accuracy, to the precision, to the repeatability, and it was quickly obvious <laughs> that if you were a company with a couple hundred locations around the country and you were trying to perform an accurate inventory count, it was something you would, you would only dare to take on once a year, right? Because there's so much effort involved. So all year long, you're doing your best to track production, track your sales, and the stories I heard was <laughs> you sandbag a little bit throughout the year, it gets to be the end of the year when the auditors come to do the count. They come do the count. You go to church on Sunday, you say your prayers, and you hope those results come back, only varying within 5%, a magic number that came up somewhere in the industry that you gotta be within 5%. And man, it was hard for companies to do that. And so I learned what a massive problem that is for the industry. And that's when we decided we're gonna take this technology and focus on solving that business problem. How do we reduce those financial fluctuations for materials companies? And the answer was, be able to do counts more frequently, right? Initially it was, let's go from once a year to twice a year. Then it was, let's go four times a year. Then it's, let's go monthly, because you want to squash out those variances that occur in sales and production in your perpetual inventory. So we started with the phone. Drones still weren't legal, so we started supporting airplanes. Eventually drones became legal, we started supporting drones. Now we're on to installing cameras and having fixed cameras, taking the cost of the human piloting the drone out of the equation. We're starting to explore putting cameras on equipment, the front loader moving around the site. It's all about getting the images as many as we can, as frequent as we can, so that we can derive this data on inventory every second of every day. Squash out those variances so that a business can trust their data, eliminate write-offs, those would be gone forever, but then move on to improving operational business decisions on data you can trust, right? We're starting to see logistics stakeholders get a strong appetite for good data. We're starting to see operations managers, they're starting to say, hey, you know, do I really need to work that extra shift on a weekend? Can I switch my screens now, right? It's coming. I gave a talk to the Washington Agris Association uh, back when we first started this in 2013 and predicted that by 2023, every gravel, every grain, every piece of rock here would be modeled accurately in three dimensions every second of every day. We're only three years away but I can honestly say that the industry is on track to realize that vision, which is gonna completely transform 
the aggregates industry, and many other industries as people make data-driven decisions versus working on <laughs> guts and 20 years experience. And supply chains will begin to integrate and you'll be able to do a much better job of projecting de demand, producing to that demand, and managing the distribution. So at Stockpile Reports, that is our sole mission, to get these piles digitized every second of every day, as accurate as possible, as fast as possible, for as low cost as possible.